There's a rawness to the West that still reflects where we came from. There's an untouched beauty, and I believe that it allows us to still look at ourselves and our simplest state. It is not surprising that Taylor Sheridan is rich. I mean, it would be shocking if he wasn't rich after releasing one hit show after another and pulling millions of views for each episode. Nevertheless, I still could not believe what kind of a lavish life that Sheridan is living. In fact, one might even argue that Sheridan is living the life of a real-life John Dutton, except for all that mess of a family and politics. So in a way, he has all the good parts of a Dutton patriarch's life, enough to make my jaw drop. And what is the biggest signifier of this lifestyle? Well, none other than his beloved ranch is basically the copycat of Yellowstone Ranch. If you have been following the news surrounding Yellowstone, it is likely that you heard about Sheridan purchasing one of the oldest ranches in the U.S., Four Sixes Ranch. The property was initially put up for sale in December 2021, eventually being acquired by Sheridan's investment group for a price exceeding $320 million. Prior to Sheridan's ownership, this extensive ranch comprised of three distinct parcels had remained under the same family's ownership for over 150 years, with roots going back to 1870. Immediately after this massive purchase, he announced that a new Yellowstone spin-off series was in the making that would take place in Four Sixes Ranch. And also, he quickly moved into this ranch. Even though he was already living on a ranch, Four Sixes improved his life standards considerably as Four Sixes is massive with lots of luxurious compounds. Marketed as a unique ranch of resort-like quality, this estate offers sweeping vistas of the Brazos River Valley, featuring around 700 feet of riverfront and a substantial rock-retaining wall that divides the land. The architectural characteristics of the property reflect the style of the hill country, encompassing elements such as corn crib walls, pine accents, stone showers, and expansive porches. The ranch also includes amenities like a pool and spa. Completing this vast estate is a guest house with two bedrooms, private stables, and a total of six bedrooms and six bathrooms. The ranch also comes equipped with various standard ranch facilities, including more than four dozen stalls and three barns, a covered walker for up to six horses, and a cattle yard with five large pipe pens, a loading ram, and gravel pathways. The Four Sixes Ranch is also fully equipped for rodeo events, with two covered event spaces, a 150-foot round pen, and a 120 by 200 foot arena furnished with ample cattle pens, a mechanical cow, and optional swinging panels to divide the area. Moreover, there's a well illuminated 140 foot outdoor arena featuring a four horse walker and a covered viewing stand. Scattered across the property are two homes, multiple apartments, and one newly renovated mobile home, along with an abundance of additional amenities. Do these features remind you of any other famous ranch? Well, I feel like the similarities between the Yellowstone Ranch and the Four Sixes Ranch are pretty obvious. On the one hand, I'm glad to see that the person who created Yellowstone is truly passionate about the ranching lifestyle and is experiencing it for himself. So when writing Yellowstone, Sheridan is actually writing about his own life experience. On the other hand, though, I can't believe how much these people earn and how profitable these shows are. We watch them for entertainment purposes only often overlooking how big of a business Yellowstone is, and this realization never fails to mesmerize me. We know that Sheridan has been charging a significant $50,000 per week to allow his own show to film on his extensive ranch properties. Besides, it was recently revealed that Paramount compensated a horse wrangler located a considerable 1,600 miles away, which is absurd. Executives from Paramount and 101 Studios openly recognized that the budgets for Sheridan's projects could be substantial. For instance, episodes of the Yellowstone prequel 1923 incurred costs of at least $22 million each. One of the ranches used for the show's production, estimated to be worth around $350 million, sprawls across more than 266,255 acres. To put this into perspective, it's almost double the size of Chicago, seven times larger than Brooklyn, and even surpasses the vast area of sprawling San Antonio. Cumulatively, Paramount has been allocating over $500 million annually to produce Sheridan's series. I believe all these enough to understand how Sheridan is able to live on a Yellowstone-like ranch and live his own John Dutton-like lifestyle. Yellowstone is a massive economy and we are mere voyeurs of it. But what do you think? Do you see Sheridan as a real-life John Dutton? Let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Thank you for watching, see you soon.